I want you to tell me about puppy love. Like the awkward, passionate stuff. Like the times you lose feeling in the tips of your fingers because the way you cuddle with her, your arm falls asleep. And the last time your lips went numb because, well, she kind of kisses weird, but, but you still like it. The time your heart beat and beat so fast your puppy love could almost burst. Maybe this was your first kiss. Maybe meeting your first love. Or even when you first really saw their eyes, how they almost seemed to sparkle. Maybe. Now, tell me about the time you lost feeling in your fingers as well as the thoughts in your mind. The time your lips went numb and your mouth filled with bile. The time when your heart beat and beat so fast it turned like a tempest that never calmed. Ironic how symptoms of a porn addiction imitate and warp feelings of love. You see, a good amount say porn isn't a problem. A good amount can see themselves in a mirror and be content. But how can one truly see if you can't look past the cracks and into your eyes? The funny thing is that mirror cracked a long time ago for him. He was 11 years old when he chiseled into it, broke it, shattered it. 11 years old, that's a child, that's a kid. And every night for hours and hours, he found power in objectifying glory in rape culture, pleasure in sexual violence, and apathy in true love. 11 years old and always alone. But then he turns 16. And the first girl to hold his hand, warm volts of electricity coursed from his fingernails to the ends of his elbows, that first kiss gave him goosebumps the size of red cherries, the skin of his rosy cheeks brightening with the sound of sweet trumpets, the look in her eyes as he kissed away the edges of her face. You see, in those moments, he forgot what it was like to sit and waste away, his heart booming and crackling with the heat induced by puppy love. He was living because he cared. But as he let the addict within take over, that heat could soon only be erupted by the sound of tongues slapping against teeth, the biting, the bruising, the cracks, tearing the roots of her hair in the name of passion, twisting it, tugging at it, tearing the love out of it, the idea of becoming those videos, powerful, obsessive, mindless. That sweet kiss soon became nothing. It wasn't special unless he felt satisfied because it was no longer about her. And he always needed more and more and more. And the grabbing and the rolling and the porn and the lying and the deceit and the fighting and the porn and the lost love and the porn and the tears dripped and the porn and the night spent crying and the porn and the porn and the porn and eventually the porn won and he lost her and it hit him seven years ago he had lost himself in a darkness full of cracks And in that darkness, he found a light. And in that light, he found a hope that never dies. He found true love. He found me. So the bile, the thoughts, the scars, the shattered mirror, you know, it hasn't all left me, not just yet. But if you struggle too, and remember this, don't give up. Hold on to your light because my shattered mirror has never looked so beautiful.